In this video, we're going to animate a camera to follow your subject just like this. Hey everyone, Kelsey here and welcome back to Gal. Today I'm super excited about this effect. Animating a camera layer in After Effects to follow the dance moves is a super cool effect that you can start doing in your own music videos or in your TikToks because actually this was inspired by a TikTok creator called Floris Creates where he does these really cool dance moves and the camera follows him and I thought what a really cool idea and one of my subscribers Trocus MX actually called this out and said hey can you make a tutorial on it and that's what we're doing so this tutorial is for you and for the demo I'm using a clip from Envato Elements this one right up here and you can download a watermark version if you want to follow along in my description box and Elements sponsored this video if you're interested in getting unlimited stock assets unlimited templates all of that stuff I'll tell you more about it later on you can get 70% off using my link below or 50% off an annual plan. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. First, inside of After Effects, we're going to right click on this clip from the project panel and create a new comp from the selection. This clip is in a UHD 4K, which is 3840 pixels by 2160 pixels. And since we want to have more room for zooming in and out on our dancers in the timeline, let's resize this composition to a full HD composition. To do that, Select the hamburger menu and I'm going to go to the comp settings. Here I'm going to change the comp size in half to 1920 by 1080, which is the full HD resolution. Now in the comp, we can select the clip, press S to bring up the scale, and now we can scale it down to 50%, and this will make it fit the frame perfectly. So now that our 4K clip is scaled down in full HD, we will have more resolution to work with. Now let's make our camera. Go to layer, camera, and just select the default camera, that's completely fine. Before we start changing the camera, we first need to 3D enable the video clip layer. To do that, just click on the box here where the cube is, and now it's 3D enabled. This just means that we can now move the camera in 3D space, so forward and backwards, up and down, on top of this layer. It doesn't mean that the layer is actually 3D, just the camera can move in 3D space. Now, next we're going to toggle the camera layer one and underneath transform, the two parameters that we are going to animate are the point of interest and the position. These are both controlled by the camera shortcut, which is the C key. So if you press C on your keyboard once, it'll bring up the orbit tool. If we click and move around with the orbit tool, you'll see that it's going to orbit around the point of interest that you clicked on. But because this video clip is not actually in 3D, we don't wanna use the orbit tool. So for this tutorial, just ignore this first option, the orbit tool. If you press C again, this will bring up the pan camera tool. So when you click and hold, it'll allow you to move the camera side to side or up and down. If we press C again, this will bring up the dolly camera control, which is by far the coolest control. And when you click and hold, it will dolly in or kind of zoom in anywhere by literally moving the camera forward. And you can also move it back just like a real dolly in real space. So just press C again to cycle through these tools. And these are the different shortcuts that we will be using in the tutorial. So now that we know what these controls are, let's first press C and use the dolly control to move in so we have more room on the sides of this image to move left or right. And you can use the pan camera tool to move it wherever you want left or right. And now let's scrub to the part where we want the animation to start, which is right before they jump to the left of the frame. Make sure the point of interest and position are selected and select the toggle animation stopwatch and it will create our first keyframes. Now scrub to the part where they land their jump and here we will press C to get our pan camera tool and let's click and move the camera position in the direction that they jumped. 
When we play it back, it creates this really interesting movement, like they didn't move that much. And it's kind of a, a different reaction to the human eye, which is why it looks so cool. And now we can do the same thing with the next move. You don't have to animate all the moves, just choose the moves that you think will be coolest for the camera to animate too. I'm going to scrub to when they open their legs like this and press C to click and dolly in. And then I'm going to scrub to when they close their legs again and dolly back out. And then again to dolly back in. And remember, you can press the C again at any time to use the pan camera tool as well so you can move the camera left or right at the same keyframe that you dolly. If you ever need to redo a move, just hit Command Z on a Mac or Control Z on a PC, or you can move the playhead to the previous keyframe and select them and just press the C key again to go back and control the camera moves and it will overwrite the moves that you did before. And so I just skipped these next moves and then moved to this next part to animate. So when they moved again to the right side of the frame, I'm going to scrub right before they made that move. And then I'm going to make a keyframe here by pressing this add keyframe dot here. This is important to make these keyframes using this control as this will be the starting point of the move. Now we will scrub forward to when they end the move. And here I'm just going to use the dolly tool to dolly out and pan the camera. So using these techniques, you can go through the clip and quickly animate the moves that you want. I will just fast forward as I do this to finish it. You can see that I definitely changed my mind while I was doing this because I made a move and then I thought, oh, it didn't look that good, but then I changed it afterwards and it looked a lot better. So definitely take the time to choose the different moves that you want. And it's okay if you do Command Z and undo and redo them. So once I was done, it looked really cool. This is what it looked like. But to make it more realistic, I turned on the motion blur. And to do that, you just click this box here and it just adds some nice subtle blur and realistic blur to the moves. And lastly, if we click on the graph editor button here and show the reference graph, you can see all the animations are very boxy and linear. There's no curve to this movement. So to make it more smooth, we're gonna go up to the animation menu item and then go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease. And what this did is turn our boxy animation into curves. And all that easy ease does is it makes the animation start off slow, speed up, and then go slow again. That's all it does. And you can see that with the curve. And this was the final effect after I added the motion blur and the easy ease animation. You can also see I did the same effect on two other clips here, and it's completely up to you how much you want to add to this effect. You can make it super jumpy by zooming in super fast and out, or you can have more subtle side to side movements. It really depends on what you wanna go for. Another idea, you can use this effect to animate to the beat of the music. So you can have the dolly boom in on a beat and boom out on a beat. And I actually made a whole tutorial on how to make objects and After Effects animate to music. And you can do the same thing with the camera layer animation. So definitely check out that video, I'll put it in a card up here. So now you know how to make dance moves look more cool using the camera layers. And I hope that this will also inspire you to explore the camera feature further in After Effects. If this video helped you out, smash that like button. If it hits 5,000 likes, then I know for sure you guys want more After Effects inspired tutorials on this channel. And also a huge shout out to all of my patrons who donate monthly to support this channel. They're all here scrolling down. If you guys want direct message support from me, you guys wanna join the community, check out the rewards, go to patreon.com slash premier gal. And now a little bit about today's sponsor, Envato Elements. So the thing with Elements that's really, really cool is that you can use any of their assets, whether it's music, sound effects, stock video, graphic templates, fonts, they have it all. You can use it in any number of projects that you want. So if you're creating a video for your grandma, a personal project, you can use the assets. If you're creating a video for a client that hired you and paid you a lot of money, you can use their assets there. It doesn't matter. So that's what I love about it as well. It's just really simple to find an asset, 
license it for the project that you're using it for, download it and save it on your hard drive. I mean, you just can't get much better than that. It's really, really cool. Uh, so if you guys want to try it out, I have my link below. You can get 70% off your first month or better yet, if you're committed, if you're a full-time filmmaker and you're ready to jump in, you can get 50% off an annual plan, which is far more savings. So check it out below, explore it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Ooh.